Everyone, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm host Rob, aka Star Shadow. We are continuing our San Marino challenge. San Marino challenge is to take the tiny microstate, tiny nation of San Marino, located in, well, in Italy basically, and take that little nation that was at the bottom of the FIFA World Rankings all the way to number one in the World Rankings. Uh, simultaneously, you're supposed to take a team that's based in San Marino all the way to Champions League Glory. Uh, for this challenge, we've taken over a team uh, that is in real life defunct now, uh, San Marino Calcio. And uh, in this world, I've taken over, it's given a ton of money. We are a rich club. We operate like a rich club, just with no reputation. Uh, so we are in our fourth season. Uh, first season in Serie D is where we started. Uh, we got promoted. Promoted as champions. The only way to get promoted out of Serie D. Uh, then we spent two seasons in Serie C and last, but last season being our last one. Uh, uh, we got promoted as champions there too. So this could be our first season in Serie B coming up. And we are trying to build a squad. Because our squad uh, a lot of players, they're decent. We have some decent players here. So we are looking for players that can improve us or have tons of potential. So you see, we got a huge squad here, but that's because uh, I have my B and C team also here. Well, not everyone, but all the high potential ones, uh, uh, the B and C team up here too. So uh, it's a lot easier for me to keep track of this way. So I can make sure our, they're all training in the first team because uh, the first team's got all the good coaching uh, and for some reason uh, the B team has not let me bought a cl uh, any coaches bring in any coaches because some kind of bug or something uh, or an advert went out for coaches and it's been going basically for three years and nothing's been returned there's been no indication that uh, anyone's done anything with this uh, I have control over it uh, I just I never did, did in the first place uh, I did bring in some coaches for the C team at least the C club so there are at least some coaches there uh, but they also, the coaches all suck so it doesn't help anyway so all high potential players are training with the first team and it's, now I can keep track of them um, in case I need to bring someone up to the first team because of injury or suspensions or uh, what will happen in October uh, I'm sure will be call-ups and since the San Marino team national team guy is composed mostly of players from my club uh, we lose those for that because it's a, a, a official FIFA uh, match day I guess so we're required to let them to release them for that and Serie B does not seem to have any scheduling place to account for that. Neither did C, neither did E. So apparently that's just the way it goes. Because uh, we can take a look here. Let's see, da, 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 da. it's okay. One of our star players here. Then let me know. Schedule senior squad. So they have European qualifiers. Yep. Uh, 99 September and October and in November. So with that, uh, here I guess, and here, uh, listen to the pistol pack here. Uh, some T pain. But let's see. So D gonna be missing some matches in here in November. Miss matches in here. We're not gonna not gonna get rescheduled. They never have. There were there will be apparently. And look at the fixture congestion here. They already got nine matches in October. And then we go down here. Look, four matches in April, five matches in March, four matches in February, four matches in January. It could definitely be spread out so that this is avoided. But uh, they hate smaller clubs like us, I'm guessing. 
must be why the schedule looks like this. But we will live. Maybe. But uh, because of that, we need a huge squad because we have to cover for that because some of our best players are Sam Mayonese. Which is good for the challenge, but bad for, for the club. Made offers. Hmm. Let's take a look at you. Balanced personality. Are you? Yeah. Contract is ending. Let's have a look. See. Center midi. Passing vision. Not bad. Not bad. No jumping. Uh, mentals need a little bit of work. Where would you fall in the rankings here? Tenth. Potential is Serie A, interesting. Spoken. Here, pure attacker. Gets forward or possible, which is actually something we do like for our attacking center mid. Definitely, definitely a uh, top, uh, top clubs. Well, in smaller uh, European leagues, are definitely looking at him. Uh, is there a D level? Hmm. It's a little better than that. I think he's going to see. Uh, so uh, even if we were to toss some money at him, I don't think he would take it. Transfer listed right now. Interesting, he's very interesting. And then Zinho. Yeah, that's a good potential there. Four to five stars. A lot of money though. Someone buying for oh nope. Oh, they're trying to loan him in. Uh, he has a long way you would have to develop to be any good. Yeah, we're gonna take it slow a little bit here. Look at some players. Maybe bring in a player. I don't know if that could happen or not. Definitely not gonna get any matches because we've got another month before friendly start kicking in. I need to be more than that. Uh, so we are def we brought in a bunch of players though already. I wouldn't mind bringing in uh, uh wouldn't mind bringing in some more, but like good players is what I'm worried about. Like I said, we need players that can step into the first team or players that can actually take our first team higher. What I think I'd really need to really look for is a defensive midfielder, another one. The ones we have right now are solid, nothing special. And then uh, we have a backup who can back up, who's a versatile backup in midfield and center defense. Uh, he, he needs playing time. I kind of want to loan him out so he can get some playing time instead of sitting in on our bench. We I mean, got a decent amount of playing time last season, but it would still be nice. There's another one bringing in here. Another good. It's got this good, good passing, good vision. So, you know, attacking midi. Definitely needs work, so he'll be definitely playing. Keep that could be for team ready for another season. Uh, we had a late let uh, Linda Carlo go. 
didn't have the ability or potential. He didn't really play last season anyway, so uh, it's a legacy. Like a pro, Series C. That's good. Good, good job, man. So I'm keeping an eye on uh, players that played that I want to keep an eye that played for us that I want to keep an eye on. So we have a few players there, and also any of our youth intake that is free agents because some of the not good ones are right now available and eventually probably some of the good ones will will move on as well not yet but soon i, I assume unless we can get it to serie a presume because we do have a few good ones here i mean let's we can look at our from our first youth intake Alessandro Mancini here uh, came in as a striker. Uh, definitely brought in. He's actually more of a winger. It's finishing was terrible. Uh, he's not leaving so. Uh, so I, I converted him. He's not a great wing back, but he does run up and down the side. He's like our main attacking threat. So he's he's good. Uh, next. You were in Youth Intake. Uh, from our second Youth Intake. Coming along. He's back. Got to be back up on the right, I think. Good mentals. Uh, not technically good. Decent athlete. athlete. So, uh, pretty good. Uh, this is from our last... No, our second Youth Intake, too. Uh, he's really... His star rating is really good. Really speedy. Scored nine goals last season for us. But yeah, he's he's pretty good. And then uh Federico Bugli. Uh, looks like he's gonna step up. Oh, another one of those good passing, good visions. We're gonna give him a shot and see how he does. And not very much an athlete, but hopefully we can get him some um, athleticism through training. Uh, Nicola Galtieri. This is from our first youth intake. Another one, good mentals. Uh, he's more of a uh, deep lying kind of uh, kind of a midfielder. So, uh, so yeah, good decisions. Mental's coming along. That the best technically got some decent tackling. Passing's alright. So uh, he'll get some some opportunities playing. Uh what I'm a nope, that's I was thinking of it was uh I also have a couple also coming along very nicely in Cousin, I'm assuming of Nicola. Golo. Another one we convert to uh, further back in the right because he's a, a winger. Good dribbling. He's a better actually uh, defensively, better tackling, better positioning than Mancini. So he might. I think we might actually throw him out there a little bit. Got uh, good acceleration, decent pace, good potential. So you no, know, worth a shot. And the other one. Varani. Uh, gotta get him going again, but see the mentals are good. He's not technically good. Uh, so hopefully if we can get him going, he can improve during uh, the season. He may come in during maybe the last half of the season to start playing a bit. He's a professional, so we, I expect him to actually uh, develop some. Let's have another right winger here, kind of right winger striker. Uh, you're saying Marinese, aren't you? Not Italian. Yeah. Decent. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, we've gotten a bunch of goalkeepers through our youth intake. So the first one we got, uh, Golandi. Go oh, San Marino, indeed. <laughs> Coming along. This is the first one we get from our first youth intake. A lot of potential. We decline a little bit over the summer since they're not training. Uh, he's got a lot of potential. Uh, so from our second youth intake, we get uh, Chitty here. Not quite the potential, 
but getting there. And then in our last intake, we got uh, Mayani. A lot of potential too. So we ate every youth intake so far, we've gotten good goalkeepers. It's fascinating. So the lesson is if you have a good, uh, good youth, youth intakes. Well, what is the one that does it? It's not youth facilities. It's the other one. Why am I blanking on this? That's the that's the one you want is the bringing in good player, good youth players because they come in and they're good. Youth facilities is the one that tells you how good they'll actually be when they actually come in. But potential wise, it's the other one. Uh, wait, wait, youth facilities and then youth training. Youth training is the one that's the one that how good they are when they come in. CA and the other one is potential. So yeah. You want the potential ones if you can because yeah so yeah this team is set up to this club is set up optimally for developing prospects because and i basically with the club skipped the whole building up the club which would take who knows 20 30 40 seasons is that enough right there and if we can do it from this then we know that this challenge is actually possible and i think it actually could be possible Skip all the building part and we're going into actually trying to do this. So in a couple of seasons, actually, I will take over the national team. Oh, when? Can I nationalize Brazilian players? Uh, could? I don't know how long it takes, though. And usually... I'm finding uh, players that I bring in tend to uh, not stay that long. Well, I mean, I've only this is only going to be our first season, but uh, they're using us as a stepping stone, which is perfectly fine because we're using them as a stepping stone too. Two days before that one. Mm. I don't know about this. Oh, 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 that's even worse, actually. That's, we're not even going to be match fit by then. That would be a very interesting match there. What would it look like on the calendar? They're saying here. could do that might be worth a shot we do need to play teams above us a little bit to see exactly where we are that, that would be an interesting friendly Because right now our team is probably worthy as Area B, but not really good a challenge, I don't think. I think we can safely uh, escape relegation with what we have. That'd be about it. I'd like to have a little bit more once it gets closer. Alright, so interesting. Oh, resolute too. Not that we can't afford it, but still, it's kinda of ridiculous. Hmm. No. Probably not. Definitely not. You're interesting. Let's see what you actually look like.
you're on the edge of what I would put on this list right now. Our club culture is to only bring in layers 21 and under, so uh, we definitely have to look at potential and hope that they'll stay long enough to actually develop. So nope. Promising goalkeeper. Ooh. Oh wow, he's actually he's actually decent. But I've got 50 trillion goalkeepers as it is. Good thing at least is my B side B club plays in the fifth division, which we have as playable, so they're actually getting valuable time. Well, I'd like them to get promoted. They choked last season, finished in second. Yeah, you're gone. You're too old. Funny thing is the owners want me to spend the transfer budget of a lot of money, but we have a uh, little reputation that can't really spend it on anyone. <laughs> so it's like, kind of hard like if we can get promoted again into Serie A then we can we got wonder kids that we can throw tons of money at but yeah they wonder kids don't want to step down to Serie B now you're probably gonna start so no Yeah, we have to have a deep side to, to deal with all of the, the issues that come up, whether it's San Marini's team members leaving in the middle of the season or national duty, suspensions, injuries, and of course, players moving on because we get offers and they want to leave. So we don't really try and stand in the way of any that are any of our players that are uh, that were brought in whether like through a transfer or free transfer uh, the only ones that we are really trying to keep our San Marinese players from wreath and takes so they are coincidentally then or consequently at least uh, giving higher price tags so like Mancini I've got a 15 million price tag on if they want to take him off my hands which they're not going to So they come at me and we're like, here's a hundred thousand. Uh, you realize how much money we have, right? We are basically a big club and we operate like a big club. We just don't have the reputation of a big club. Omar Yassi. Oh, he's been in Regina. Oh, what have they done? They must have been in... No, they've been in B. That's interesting. So they're decent. They're, but they're... Most of these players aren't any better than what... What we can throw out there. So... You're really not any better than what we have right now. Take a look just to be sure, but I don't think so. Police. This is really nice here. 
Because we do use a target man, that's nice. And with passing and vision, that's nice. Problem is, of course, is that we have some players that we are really, really happy about. I don't think you would be like taking future prospects. And you are definitely ready to play Restar. That's about right. Really? 21,000? That's it? That's all they're paying for this guy? Plus, I mean, so, I mean, not bad. It's going to be Serie B. And uh, that could be higher. Fairly professional, solid. How about we throw... We'll see. We'll see what, what he thinks. I imagine we'll offer my contract to you. Want to be like a starter or something? We can do that. You're not good enough right now. You neither. The problem is we have uh, this guy here all ready to go. Concentration sucks up. Dore came in. Oh, this is one of our youth intakers here. Oh, he signed for to La Fiorita. Oh, and the San Marinese League. Fun. Anyway. Uh, oh no, Crotone, Crotone and uh, Serie A came in for him and didn't offer enough money. And I negotiated and they negotiated a worse deal and so I negotiated back and they got mad and so now he's mad. It was not even that big of a negotiation. And this is the time of year where we have nothing but scouting reports, scouting reports, scouting reports, scouting reports, because I mean we just had our scouting meeting two days ago. Teamwork can work great. That's nice. Oh, he's at, he's athletic too. Technically, there's not much there. striker he's not really interested anyway here did a lot of work you do too and you're interesting just because look at that dribbling finishing first touch all 15 tier that's not bad that's not bad pace sucks though Got nothing but uh, what center backs need. So he is a no nonsense -er. Finger, he's not that good. Another interesting one, but no concentration. You. You. Bravery is not a problem because our one of our star strikers has no bravery. He's decent in the air too, but 
sometimes a live with what you gotta live with oh you're yeah that will never work you neither you didn't you have not developed i mean no nonsense but mentally it's like that three composure Ew. Not much even my miracle coaching staff can do. Not much. More time, yeah, we know. Oh, no. Eh. Don't make me excited. Poor Italian list. Are you any good? No. 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 My deal starting at 34. I, I offered you more than everyone else because I'm not offering you a percentage. We don't make money that way. I mean, we don't need money, but... <clears throat> Board does want us to make a profit off of... Uh, players we sell, so... We'll come back and we'll add a couple thousand to it. 40, maybe. Go up to 40, maybe? Could that be it? 40? 40k? Which is like jump change for us. I mean, in this universe here, I could reach into my pocket and pull out 40,000. Because I am not only the manager, I'm also the owner. Which is represented in game by being two different people. And what will be fun is if I eventually get fired from here. That I will be hiring myself back in a in the form of a another manager, because you know that's what happens. What was really cool is. Uh, we actually had as our goalkeeping coach in for our C club was uh, Gianluigi Buffon. It's really hilarious. His his coaching stats were really, really, really bad. But it was our C club, and of course it was Buffon. So I was like, uh, yeah, well, definitely we're bringing him in. I don't care how much he sucks. But now he thinks now he's too big for us, so moving on. He moved on. It's, makes you really sad. Uh, another one that we're not moving on. No, sorry. Like he's gonna be started. He started to come on the last uh, couple of matches last time. So he's solid. He, he definitely is probably gonna play for us. Need to yet transfer list may run down contract if not sold. Uh, I think we can, I think we'll be fine. Cassidy, uh, are you be okay holding on to it a little bit longer? Thought you had one. I could have swore I gave you one. Fine. Regular stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh, what? I don't know. I mean, you were a regular starter for the Z Club, but that ain't happening. You, nice try, my man. Nice try. Nice try.
Oh, he's a perfectionist too. You are break to know. You are not. Okay, well, we're going to be doing this again. And now we will be doing this again once we move you up to the B side and you're not playing at all. You'll be very happy then. What do you think about that? That's the only thing about having the B and C quads, or at least the way they're set up for, for in this database. Apparently being a regular starter for the C club means you're a regular starter for the senior side. Okay, that doesn't make sense at all, but okay. Oh, you're going to them. Oh man, you go, oh, that's the fifth division. Okay, Angelanta, nice. Why the heck were you not? I definitely, if you, especially if, if you've been the first youth intake, I definitely would have given you a, a contract, a professional contract, because I gave everyone a professional contract. That's really, really weird. Should have done that in the first place, probably. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Actually, I wonder then if he was maybe coming from the seaside. Because I think by my first season, I think the, both the B and the C clubs had gotten youth intakes. Or something because I had players I didn't have in my youth intake that showed up. So you must have just signed them. That sucks. I could see you developing for us. So that means you wouldn't have signed for us anyway. shortlist anyway. Keep an eye on you. We'll keep an eye on you. Shortlist. Thank you. All right. Definitely keep an eye on all of y'all. There it is, beginning of the preseason. Not that far away, a couple weeks. What do we got here? Hmm. Cost a ton of money. The salary isn't actually that bad. He's not particularly interested means we probably have to give him even more money balanced. He's potentially interesting.
Galea Day. Lot of determination. That's about it. Oh, how did you not develop that? Oh, you've been at a crap club for a long time, I guess. You did not develop at all. You had a lot of potential, though. That sucks. That's why I'm trying to hoover up whoever I can with potential. See if I can get a few more players to fill some of that potential. Especially if they're at club or at from countries that are uh, not footballing kind of places. Cairo. I don't know who that is. A and B, he wouldn't come. Opportunistic striker, yeah, that's not. He's not. He wouldn't come even if we look for him. <laughs> Okay, you do want to go on a loan. Yay. Fringe player, no. Yay. Perfect. Good, because I'm going to sell you anyway. Believe me, our reputation is god awful. <laughs> it is terrible. Uh. You gotta give me some money. Like, don't get me wrong, we got the money. We got more than enough money to buy. Oh, there's a lot of players we could buy. But there are a lot of players that we would buy, and they would go, eh, they'd look at us and go, eh, no. No, thank you. So pretty soon, actually, our entire club will be regens or new gens. Pretty close. We're getting there. I think we're like half right now. And personally, I find playing with new gens to be more fun than playing with actual actual players, real players. So you never know what you're gonna get. You never know. That's kind of the fun part of the fun for me is finding these new players and seeing what kind of weird stats they get and trying to buy them, failing, and then having to buy someone else and then completely failing to use them correctly until you finally figured that out. And then they leave. We're in the strange position of being both a buying club and a selling club. Mostly because we have no reputation, so we develop players, then other clubs come in and try to buy them. And we shake them down for all they're worth. Because we don't need the money. We don't need the money at all. We are quite literally a big club with no reputation. Uh, so you are now a Prato. Okay. Hope you do get there. Onto you. That's in. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Where are you? Played for us and now you're gone. Bye. Wait. Where are you then? Take that, were you? Oh, I guess you were. Huh. That's why you're on this short list. Yeah. Alright. Nope. Too old. Then you get. Uh. Why are we not scouting you? Not that you would come. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I 
You wouldn't even want to come anyway. Keep you on the short list though. Keep an eye on you. Oh, you're a goalkeeper. Uh, I was looking at you and going, eh, what are you? No, you're a goalkeeper. Uh, curiosity tells me to scout you, but that'd be about it. Half a million dollars a year. Holy. And you're not that good. You're not that good, man. I don't know why you wanted so much money. Neither. I don't think you're going to be any good. Phantom Midi. Eh, I think you got to be a little bit better. If you really want to take a swing at you. Nope. I think that's the one thing we really do need is another... Another defensive midfielder. Like a halfback. Another halfback. A good one. I think that's that be the one thing we're really missing right now. I feel pretty confident in everything else, I think. Well, maybe not fully in right wing back yet until I see how how they all respond. It may not end up being good enough. Oh, we got the, some youth products coming up. Can't wait to see how they play. Striker were definitely good. Goalkeeper were definitely good. Can even weather a sail, I think. Maybe not goalkeeper. Shinton is really good. Buskier's mentals hasn't gone up enough for me to really trust at this level. You know, he's technically really, really good. You're the backup when we're trying to develop you. Uh, I doubt you're going to give me any money. And did your mental scope at all, Muscara? This is the problem. I mean, you look at, you know, handling good. One on one, pretty good. Reflex is great. Positioning, great. Determination, pretty good. That's the only thing holding them back right now. Only thing holding them back. Because technically, Shinton, Shinton's not that great. Well, I mean, he's good, but... Not, not, not near Muskier's technical goalkeeping abilities here. the latest news they hey they haven't said anything they haven't offered any money B it's not gonna be enough money because I know they're going to cheap out and C we weren't planning to sell them anyway because even though he hasn't played the best still pretty solid it's a good option to have versatile which is good we need vers versatility There's definitely not too much going on around here. Actually, I need to check and see who this uh, who Kairu is. Oh. 
basically two weeks before friendly start. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, tickets. Another 300, okay, 400. So we are somehow not getting anyone. All right, what do we got here? You want to play us when turn on. Hold on, schedule. Friendly proposal. Uh, Escalate no. Why are you put your proposals in terrible places? This Pissarro we can play. These two are in terrible spots. Like 13th or 14th, I'd play one of you, but not, not there. Here they pro. Uh, I will accept that one. They want to come to us, so let's go. I'm willing to play them. Go range friendly. Oh, I can't because I declined those, didn't I? Yeah, okay, so I gotta move up one. Then I'll try bringing Ascoldi. I don't think I've ever played them. Ternano was in our uh, division, so we saw a lot of them. I don't wanna play them. Say the thirteenth. All right, let's go. Italy. List. That's cool. Here. I'll take that. And they don't want to, okay, it's because they got, well, it's really too busy. How are they too busy? They're the ones who basically said that they wanted to play then. Okay, they are c crazy people. Crazy people. So who is this player that Cairo? Twenty-three. He is quite frankly, he's not even He's not better than what we got. He's not better than what we got at all. Yeah, he would not even. Yeah, he does not fit for what we're doing. But he's also just not that great. He's all right, but just yeah, he's just he's not that great. what he would be competing with actually though. Be better? I don't know about that. Let's take a look here. He is not. Composure is better. I give him that. So probably score a little bit more. But really
right anyway let's try and get into august here and then we'll close up shop just a uh team building kind of thing like the calm before the storm of season four it's gonna be very stressful as we try and stay up I had the same feeling though in our first season in Serie D and we ended up winning it so let's hold our horses here I we are obviously not gonna win Serie B we would have to be extremely lucky in order to do that but I'm pretty sure we can safely avoid relegation in the relegation playoff I think we can finish mid table we are a great counter attacking side our strikers are very good so the problem is is that some of the bottom teams that we are actually better than some of the teams that came up with us uh, so we we'll might have to attack them a bit so it's going to be interesting we definitely have to beat uh, all the teams that came up with us. All right, Rundigini. Interesting. Preseason preparation. Yep, so next week they're starting. Uh, yeah, we'll start with normal. Because we're playing a bunch of matches. Zinio. Do that good anyway. Pre recruiting, beating contract advice. Yeah, we'll definitely talk to a few of them at least. They're all. We'll see which ones we're gonna sign. You know, you definitely know. You know. I'm trying to sell you guys already though. Oh, let's see, let's see what we got here. Uh I think Got a good. Oh, we were coming back for you, weren't we? Yeah, I forgot. Uh, we'll offer uh, 40. Recruitment meeting. Let's attend. So yes, do not sign players over the age of 21. Check. All good, okay. Striker, that's it. No, no, no. We need have back. Definitely gotta add that. Uh, strikers, we actually... I don't think we actually need strikers. But we'll see what they got. And let's see. Uh, yes, definitely, uh, that, maybe another attacking mid, maybe a right wing back. I think we're pretty good there. Let's, uh, let's look for that one too, actually. All right, who are you, who are you going to show me? Benjamin Fisher. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 fairly professional. Yeah. He's pretty solid. Uh, country that sucks. And his decision's sick. But, uh, he's only 17, so, yeah. No. Ah, we can afford it. But we'll keep that in mind. Ibrahim Ozorn Wafor. Oh. Wow, finishing already. That's just basically Victor Michelle. Except, like, younger. 
and Nigerian. Well, that is actually. Oh, he's got no pace though. It's also 17 though. Oh man. Let me do like. Do like. Let's see what happens with some of the uh, uh, players that are possibly leaving. I don't think you're good enough. You are almost certainly not good enough. You neither. Mm -mm. Do you have potential or something? That's what I'm wondering. All right, just random players here, midfielder. Nineteen. Yeah. Scout you. Seventeen. Mm, peace. Uh, not sure about you though. Okay. Are you the one that's professional? No. Unsporting here. Eh? You are interesting though. You got good mentals already. I could work with that from my 16 year old. I could work with that. Personality sucks, but sometimes you gotta take a chance. No. I don't think we can work with you, though. Probably single keeper. Definitely add to the list. Oh, there we do have a scout. Balanced. If we needed another goalkeeper, another young goalkeeper. I've already got four. Definitely something we, need, we definitely would need. And another techie midfielder is never, never go, or go wrong with one. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, cause I saw you and I was like, oh yes, fairly professional. Got some stuff we can work with as a target man. Let's see what you would want. Squad player. Uh, you would not play that much this season, I don't think. Although you're not bad, you probably could play a little bit. I don't know. Fringe player and pack sub maybe player. Do you take that? Yeah, okay. I maybe I should have a breakthrough. <sighs> you want a ton of money though. A ton of money. That's the bottom. That's even lower than what the estimated is. Oh wow. You would be really difficult to loan though. But I think... So many pros though. We gotta, we gotta give this a shot. I think it's worth bringing him in if we can as a... As someone that will... Develop. 
Because he looks good. He, he should develop. In a couple of years, he would be good enough to definitely play. Hopefully, we're sniffing around that Serie A spot. Real Divas. Looking for star players. Need a star player. You are not gonna be a star player. Something to keep an eye on though. I will definitely keep an eye on you. Scouts don't really think so. Nyango, oh. You still Everton? Oh, you're you gotta let go, oh man. Let's scout you and see what kind of potential you got. You must not have enough potential. Like I would hope you would have. Barcelona! Let's see. Seventeen year old center back. Interesting. Very interesting. Fairly professional, interesting, very, very interesting. Probably higher than Serie B. Oh yeah, that's right, he's the guy but uh, doesn't have enough pace to really take advantage of all that stuff. Taking fullback though. On the left though. And midfielder. And uh, they don't want to sell anyway. Another one I've been keeping an eye on. Mexican promising center back. Getting closer though. That was none before. Now it's extremely doubtful. So. So we're getting there. It would be interesting too. Very interesting. Right footed, I guess. He's not bad. Potential. Would like to see something like this. You're just a winger. You're not going to help us with our tactic, which is a 5-3-2. A 5-3-2 that we attack down this side. Oh, with very, very attacking wingbacks. Do you love me some wingbacks? Alright, so we have now reached the 1st of August. Might not end up being good enough. Turn on your old... Just for a touch longer. So you see, we are a rich club. We are rich, 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 rich. And they want to come in and try and buy my players like we are not rich. Like we, like they're doing us a favor, giving us 
fifty thousand for one of our best players. Sorry guys, but uh we could buy your club. How about we just buy your entire club and liquidate them and take your best players that way? I mean we could we could do that. I mean we can't do it in the game, but but in this universe we we could do that. We have enough money. That's why I'm insulted by some of this some of these transfer offers that they're trying to throw at me. Because they are complete weak sauce. The fifteenth. This is a team we have to look at beating them. It's an in. That's an in. Okay, dude. nothing, nothing special. And then they're not terrible, but they're. Like this guy is nothing, nothing special. Yeah, decent. Okay, that's a decent. Yeah, they're decent, but like they're not really that much big better than us. I don't think we need to scout any particular week. We've not had much luck. Alright, how are our loans looking? Okay. Yeah, developing a little bit. I oh, might not end up being good enough. I thought you were gonna be Sorry A and you seem to not be quite there. You were a youth intake, or no, I thought you were youth intake. That's why I kept you around. Oh, in that case, I should get rid of you. Uh, Suspidus, I thought was going to be good. Potential ended up not being not what my scouts thought. It's okay. You have some good potential out there. Getting some playing time that they desperately need. This is one of our uh, youth intakes from the first youth intake. It was the backup on the right side. Model citizen. Gotta love that. He ended up dropping, so Mirko is gonna be. Might end up being the number one. We'll see how it goes. I think we what we might do is go with Colo Voltieri and uh, Mirko Luigi as the the two. Uh, one is super offensive, actually a winger, and Luigi is actually the defensive, uh, defensive kind of a uh, defensive style wing back. Oops. Uh, I'm going to have to clip that normally gets muted in the YouTubes. Go. Yeah. That sample apparently is one that gets, that triggers it. I always forget which song it is. In the pizzle back. You're on a wing back though. You played right wing. Okay, yeah. All right, so hopefully, hopefully some of these will uh, develop. We use this time to develop. We have a ton of players down a little below us. We could said so that should push them on, push them forward. And then hopefully they'll be ready uh, for the next season. You already complained you wanted to lead. It's fine. I loaned you out. That fickleness. Like he's pretty good too. He was playing a bit and then got mad because he, he got passed and 
but that's just the way it goes. You either play well or you get benched. And we rotate through everyone until we hit something that works. All right, so yep, that is going to do it for us today. As we... Uh, I think we're squad building. We're getting there, so... I am actually going to be uh, off unavailable for the next few days through the weekend. So I don't know how much we'll be able to push further ahead. So we may still be in friendlies on Tuesday, but we'll be back on Tuesday and Thursday to continue this on. We should be getting into the matches then and we'll see if I, how the team building goes by then. So I definitely come check that out and come see how the squad's going. Hopefully, you know, maybe we might even get into the season a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be uh, an interesting one for us. Uh, definitely be a test of the tactical abilities. So, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, like, drinking out a little bit, seeing what's going on with this team as we continue on. It's it's going, it's going in the right direction, I think. So, uh, yeah, you're joining yourself here and watching us on Twitch. Drop a follow and hit that notification button coming up. Go say hi in the chat. Uh, you can follow us on social media at streams by star on twitter exclamation point twitter in the chat get you that link and exclamation point yt get you to the youtube page with the archives of this series and other uh playthroughs we're doing so definitely go check that stuff out and like comment subscribe share all that good stuff there really do appreciate it really 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 do so like i said thanks for stopping by thanks for hanging out thanks for listening whatever you all do uh Really do appreciate that. Stay safe out there, stay well, and I will see you again next week.